love a secret menu. You guys know what secret menus are, right? Sometimes we're just tired of the same old food. Sometimes we're in the mood for something different. Well, if you agree, then boy, do we have something for you. Tell me! Detailed here are 10 secret menu items that just may be available at your favorite fast food locations. Dig into the 10 most insane fast food secret menu items. The Incredible Hulk at Taco Bell. Hey, I found some food. It looks really good, too. No, we aren't saying that you can see the Incredible Hulk at your local Taco Bell, although that would certainly be pretty amazing. Oh, go! If the Marvel character did happen to stop by, especially in Hulk mode, we wonder if they'd have enough tacos and burritos in stock for the larger-than-life hero. They surely wouldn't, as his appetite would be monstrous, no doubt. But what is actually known at Taco Bell as the Incredible Hulk is something not many know exactly. Exist. It's actually a burrito, a secret burrito. We know, what an explosively brash name for an item of food, especially one that's supposed to be a secret. You think you can eat at my table? and not give me a bite, just give him the ingredients. But what can you do? Some people just love the Hulk. Can that love of a Marvel hero inspire you to eat something named after it? As it turns out, the secret burrito has no meat. But not to worry, there's still tons of protein, in the form of beans, of course. Vegetarians and vegans go to beans for a lot of their dietary needs, and this item would be the perfect burrito for them. It's filled with beans, cheese, and avocado. So hence the name. The green avocado spills out of the burrito with every bite. It's so full of it. So the color green was the inspiration for this one, obviously. The Butterbeer Frappuccino at Starbucks. Does anyone fancy a butterbeer? You heard that right. We said butterbeer. And if that word transports you back to a time of wizards and witches, then that's because it was available near Hogwarts at the Hog's Head or the Three Broomsticks, all a part of the Harry Potter wizarding world. Brought to us all by none other than author J.K. Rowling. For so many others, butterbeer was shown on screen in the films as well. And obviously, somewhere along the line, people got a hankering for the seemingly tasty beverage. We mean, Harry seems to love it a great deal, as did the other cast of characters. So it was just a matter of time before someone decided to sell it in real life to all us muggles who just wanted a taste. Are those muggles? Now it is available at Universal theme parks in Orlando and California, but if you can't make that trip, then look no further than your neighborhood Starbucks. Just be advised that it won't exactly be the same, as the product at Starbucks is coffee-based. As Professor Snape would have said, are you really that surprised, given it's a coffee shop? We didn't think a coffee version of butterbeer sounded good, but apparently it comes close to the official stuff. The Poor Man's Big Mac at McDonald's the Big Mac is probably one of the greatest burgers on Earth. It certainly is one of the most successful, and we more than understand that that probably is because of availability. I think of all the Big Macs I could have eaten on Friday instead of fish sticks. We mean, there's a McDonald's restaurant practically on every street corner of the world. But still, we all must admit, the sandwich is pretty darn good. If it isn't the meat patties, then it's the sauce. And of course, if it isn't any of those, then it's the bread at the center. Unfortunately, it can be pretty costly overall. But what if we told you that you could still enjoy the taste of the good old Big Mac without having to pay the relatively high price? You have a free Big Mac. Well, you can. As it turns out, McDonald's secretly has an option for one and all, especially those not being able to spend the money needed for a Big Mac. Give me your double shiny bacon. Come on. It's called the Poor Man's Big Mac, and essentially, it's a McDouble dressed as a Big Mac. Of course, this is all without the middle piece of bread and the sesame seed bun. But you'll still get the sauce and, of course, the two patties, along with all the other great and tasty ingredients. And you love it even more 
because you made it with your own hands. In the French-speaking parts of the world, the sandwich is known as a McDouble GCM, the acronym standing for Garni Cum Mac, which means dressed like Mac. Pretty cool, isn't it? We think we like the French description better, as no one really wants to be reminded that they can't afford their favorite burger. Besides, McDonald's is supposed to make you smile, right? The Keto Macchiato at Starbucks. Tasty butterbeer renditions aren't all Starbucks is good for, especially pertaining to this list. As it turns out, if you're trying to drop a few or trying to cut your frame in order to showcase the muscles you've been working on so diligently Woo! and are in search of something low carb, then Starbucks is the place to stop. As it turns out, they have a keto macchiato and apparently it tastes as good as it looks for a diet beverage and all. What do you have to say for yourself? Can I get a caramel macchiato? Don't knock it, as people have been raving about this secret menu item. In secret, of course. Trying to eat healthy is difficult enough when you're out there on the go. We don't doubt that someone walked in a Starbucks location somewhere and asked if they had something low carb and healthier than what was on the menu. We could just picture the barista leaning over the counter and whispering the words, we might have just the thing for you, saying this all with a wink and a smile, of course. Oh, and you can get it low fat too, if you get it with almond milk. Just another secret from the barista. Wink, wink. Excuse me, can I get a cup of coffee? Black. Can't you see we talking? White. The Chicken McGriddle at McDonald's. Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles is world famous, and for serving just that, chicken and waffles. They have many locations in the beautiful state of California, and if you get a craving for them, we see the purchasing of a plane ticket in your future. That's, of course, if you don't live near one of their locations, that is. Wait, it's Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles? As it turns out, word on the street is that another neighborhood fast food restaurant can get you what you need, especially if chicken and waffles is what you need. Apparently, good old McDonald's actually has something like this on their oh-so-secret menu. They mimic chicken and waffles by combining two of your already favorite menu items, the McChicken and the McGriddle. Essentially, they just serve the chicken from the McChicken between two McGriddle pancakes and voila! Oh. God, I love chicken and waffles! There you have it, friends. And no, it isn't Roscoe's, and it probably doesn't even come that close at all. But close enough? We'll let you decide. This is something only you can decide. Lucky for us all, McDonald's recently took the Chicken McGriddle off the secret menu and onto the real menu. That's right, this once hidden sandwich is now front and center for anyone to order. The T-Rex Burger at Wendy's Sometimes there's nothing like rolling into Wendy's and having one of good old Dave Thomas's epic novelty burgers or menu items. I shoved an employee at Wendy's and they called the cops. You gotta warn somebody before you hand them a square burger. And if you happen to be hungry, why not add a second burger to your order? No one's judging. A lot of people do it, as sometimes a burger can seem quite small, especially if you happen to be eating later in the day than you usually do. But in researching this next item, we are plagued with one question, and it's a burning question at that. Just how hungry does someone have to be in order to be able to eat a whopping nine beef patties in one single burger? We can understand two. We can understand three. Heck, we can even understand four. But nine? It was a Wendy's! If you do happen to be that hungry, you can always go down to Wendy's and order yourself what is secretly known as the T-Rex Burger. Now, if the name conjures up images of a tall T-Rex chasing smaller animals around a prehistoric backdrop and brontosauruses nibbling at leaves up in some overgrown tree, then that's appropriate, as the burger is stacked quite high. It's not fair that I can't go to Wendy's. Every yeah, single person will be there except me. And although we can eat, we don't think we could manage those proportions. How about you? The Surf and Turf Burger at McDonald's. When eating out, sometimes a single option for protein on your dish isn't enough. Sometimes you just want something a little extra on there. And thanks to the cuisines of old, the dish known as Surf and Turf came into existence. It's real, like aliens. 
It first appeared on a menu back in 1960 at a Lowell, Massachusetts restaurant known as the Continental. It's the perfect dish, as it has the best of both worlds on there, beef and seafood, usually lobster tail. Fine dining restaurants and chefs on the food channels have done and outdone this famous dish, so it's pretty popular. This is fame, bro! Like Now, we can't always go to the restaurants that are considered to be higher-end places. Sometimes we've got to rough it a little. And by roughing it, we mean going to fast food restaurants, which really isn't roughing it at all. I already am eating from the trash can all the time. Especially if you can really get surf and turf at a fast food location. And at the most familiar place of all, no less. That's right, the good old place with the celestial golden arches, McDonald's. Apparently, if you enter a location and whisper to the attendant at the register that you've got a mean old craving for some surf and turf of all things, then well, they'll get to making you something quite special. And what they do is quite simple enough. What they do is put a fish fillet and a burger patty in a bun and, well, voila! Well, ooh la dee da, Mr. Frenchman. It's as simple as that. They also have an interesting sandwich they secretly call the Land, Sea, and Air Burger, which features the addition of chicken. So yeah, a burger with chicken, beef, and a filet of fish all rolled up into one bun. What will they think of next? The Tomato Burger at In-N-Out. Okay, who wants to go to In-N-Out Burger? Now, we've all heard of lettuce-wrapped burgers, and for practitioners of the aforementioned keto diet, it's definitely a good way to stick to the plan. But what about wrapping your burger in another common vegetable found inside of burgers and not around them? Like, say, tomatoes? Well, if you think it's a joke, it isn't. Secretly, this item is actually available at In-N-Out. Why did they come up with this or make it secretly available? Why? Probably because of a particular demand for it. Maybe someone out there, or quite a few out there, don't happen to like lettuce, yet they want to stick to the diet regardless. Could be, right? This should look good. <laughs> it's at some locations if you want to try it. Off the menu, of course. The Mick 1035 at McDonald's. Uh, I'd like to thank the wonderful crew at McDonald's for spending hours making those Egg McMuffins. Sometimes movies influence what we get a craving for. And for years, Hollywood has been putting actors in scenes that revolve around food quite often enough. Why do they do it? Because it works. We love to see celebrities in situations we go through every day, or maybe a tad worse. Two Hollywood memories come to mind in particular. In Falling Down, cinematic gem Michael Douglas enters a fictional burger place called Whammy Burger and asks for a breakfast menu item. The clerk tells him that breakfast is over. I want breakfast. Well, you can't have it when I'm serving it. But according to Douglas's character, he still had time to order. Let's just say that the character gets quite frustrated, a little too frustrated at the idea that he's missed breakfast. But he isn't alone. In Adam Sandler's Big Daddy, he meets equal amounts of disaster when he gets to his neighborhood McDonald's much too late for breakfast. 30 minutes and 4 seconds late, to be exact. But alas, there's finally a way to do away with all this nonsense and the potential outbursts. Time for McDonald's all-day breakfast. Also on the secret menu at McDonald's, there is the Mick 1035 burger. And although we're sure it doesn't need an explanation, we'll go ahead and say that yes, there are both lunch and breakfast items inside, including beef patties and eggs, which really, at the end of the day, is just steak and eggs. But maybe today the burger can get a name change, since now McDonald's is serving all-day breakfast. French Toast Grilled Cheese at Denny's If you're tired of going to McDonald's for your eggs and bacon, or in other words, for your breakfast, then perhaps a stop at Denny's would do you good. Because here, we don't just serve you, we see you. Hey, baby, I see you. Like IHOP, Denny's will get you fed, and pretty well, we might add. But they, too, have a secret menu item, should you dare to try it. And it sounds really good. Apparently, they have a grilled cheese turned French toast at some of their restaurant locations. They make it by putting cheese between two slices of bread, but instead of grilling it like that, they throw it in some egg wash and then go ahead and throw it on the griddle. Add a wee bit of maple syrup, a 
and you've got yourself a mouth-watering concoction available to one and all. You just have to ask for it, because just like all the other items on this list, its existence is a secret. Extra cheese. No, no, just uh, as it is, it's fine. Officially, these items don't exist at all. Then again, maybe this video doesn't exist. Are you really here? Are we? Time is an illusion after all. Anyways, whatever you've heard, you didn't hear it from us. This is a dream and you have a safe full of secrets. I need to know what's in that safe. Tap on another great video. And for all our subscribers, thanks! And be sure that notification bell has been rung.